Okay, so now we're going to, we have um, three points on an equilateral triangle. I'm going to try to draw this as well as possible. So Q1, Q2, Q3. Each are five meters away from each other. And these angles are all 60 degrees. Okay. Um, so uh, we, we're given that Q1 is um, 6 times 10 to the minus 9 coulombs. Q2 is minus 2 times 10 to the minus 9 coulombs. And Q3 is 5 times 10 to the minus 9 coulombs. And we're asked to um, solve for the resultant force on Q3. So our force is a vector quantity, and it's 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, Q1, Q2, over R12 squared, times R12 hat. So a unit, a unit vector in the direction of R12, or alternatively, we can write it as and use the vector R12. Okay, so now to solve for the resultant force, we need the individual forces. So, um, and to do that, we need the vectors as well. So let's go ahead and define an axis system here. Right, this is our x and this is our y. And um, I'm going to define uh, each of the position vectors. So our, our three vector is going to be um, <clears throat> the more tricky one to, to do. Um, but we can see that it's, if we draw the triangle from the origin out, this is five meters. This is 60 degrees. So this is um, 5 sine 60. And this is 5 cos 60. Um, 5 sine 60 is 4.33 uh, meters. So I did everything in centimeters, but it's all in meters. Hmm. OK, I'm just going to have to convert. Um, which is, uh, and this is 2.5 meters. So our R3 here is uh, 2.5 meters in the uh, I hat, so the X direction, uh, plus 4.33 meters in the J hat direction. Now, um, our total R is still gonna be, or our, our R3 is just five meters. Um, then our R2 is pretty simple, so it's just going to be 5 meters in the I hat, and our R1 is the easiest one, it's just 0. So now our R31 uh, vector is just R3 minus R1, and this points in the direction of R3 of Q3 from Q1. So this is the force on Q3. Um, okay. Um, and so this is 2.5 meters, I hat plus 4.33 meters, J hat. Uh, minus zero, so that's easy. And then R32, so again pointing in the direction of R3 from R2 is now 2.5 meters I hat plus 4.33 minus 5 meters I hat minus 2.5 meters I hat. And now our R31 is just the magnitude of R31 vector 
which is five meters, and our magnitude of our R32 is just five meters. So now we have everything in place to compute our forces. <clears throat> so our force on three from one is um, one over four pi epsilon naught times our charges, so six times 10 to the minus nine coulombs, times our Q3, five times 10 to the minus nine coulombs, over um, our five meters squared, times our cubed, sorry, times our 2.5 meters I hat, plus 4.33 meters J hat. Um, <clears throat> so um, this is going to, using an epsilon knot of 8.8541872 times 10 to the minus 12. Um, then our F31 comes out to be, um, now I'm just going to recalculate a bit because I messed up a little bit on my units here. So 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught um, times 6x9. Nine times five x minus nine. Um, and did I mess that up too? Uh, no, okay, good. And um, divided by uh, five cubed. So this should be um, two point. One by seven times ten to the minus nine uh, newtons per meter. So if we do the units out there, it'll be about newtons per meter. Uh, I should have said this was second squared coulomb squared per, per kilogram meters cubed. Um, okay. Um, and so this is all multiplied by our 2.5 meters I hat plus our 4.33 meters J hat. And so then this will come out to be um, uh, 5.3925 times 10 to the minus 9 newtons plus uh, 9.3399 times 10 to the minus 9 newtons j hat i hat okay and then so that's our f31 our f2 our f32 sorry is then going to be 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught our um charge on two, so minus two times 10 to the minus nine coulombs, five times 10 to the minus nine coulombs over our five meters cubed times our minus 2.5 meters plus our uh, 4.33 meters J hat. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> so this is going to be minus 7.198 times 10 to the minus um, so 3 went to 9 so 4 goes to 10 uh, newtons per meter times our minus 2.5 plus our 4.33 and so that used the same E naught as I used above, obviously. 
And so then here we're going to get uh, one point, so the minuses will cancel, so 1.7975 times 10 to the minus 9 newtons i hat and minus uh, 3.1133 times 10 to the minus 9 newtons j hat. Okay, um, and so then our net force is just the sum of these two. So our, our net force on the three particle is just the sum of our two forces, which is, just to rewrite them here, Sorry, minus 3.1133. There we go. And so that our net force is uh, 7.1900 times 10 to the minus 9 plus 6.2266. If we want the magnitude, that's just um, the square root of the component squared as so. comes out to be 9.5114 times 10 to the minus 9 newtons. Okay. <clears throat> using 9 times 10 to the 9 for k instead of uh, epsilon naught. I'd also do that, so that looks good.